in this video we are going to discuss about cp command in unix or linux linux operating system cp stands for copying uh, let us see the advantages of cp command one by one the first advantage of cp command is it is useful in order to copy the contents of one file to another file uh, let us see the syntax here cp space here file one is nothing but source file name file two is nothing but destination file name okay so whenever the statement is executed then the contents of source file will be copied to the destination file suppose if destination file doesn't exist then a new file will be created with the name file two and uh, the content of file one will be copied to the file two whereas if the destination file that is file 2 already existed then the contents of file 2 will be overwritten okay uh, so that is about the usage of the cp command let us assume that here we have file 1 let the content of the file 1 is some high uh, let us assume that file 2 is nothing but a new file so now what will happen uh, this file 2 will be created and the contents of the file 1 will be copied to the file 2. So now what is the content of file 2? The content of file 2 is high only. Okay. Uh, let us assume that here uh, we have uh, file 3. L let us assume that file 3 is already existing file. So let file 3 is already existing file. Let the content of the file 3 is hollow. So now what we happen? Here file 3 is already existing file. So what will happen now? The contents of file 3 will be overwritten. So this content will be overwritten. So now what will happen? What is the content of file 1? File 1 content will be copied here. Okay. So now file 3 contains i. So this is the first advantage of the copy command. We can copy the contents of one file to another file. Now let us see the second advantage. We can copy one or multiple files to a directory. We know what is a directory. Directory means a collection of files and the directory may contain uh, some other directories also. So by using copy command, we can copy one or multiple files to a directory. So here we have three files present in the directory. File 1, file 2, file 3. So let it be directory. So before executing this statement, we have to create the directory. So we know how to create a directory. So how to create a directory? So make directory di directory 1. So before executing this statement, we have to create a directory. So whenever the statement is executed, then file 1, file 2, file 3 will be copied to directory 1. So now directory 1 contains file 1, file 2, file 3. So for that, we can watch the output like this. ls directory 1. So what are the files which are present in the directory 1? Directory 1 has 3 files. So file 1, file 2, file 3. So we will get output like this. File 1, file 2, file 3. If we want to watch file 1 output, then we have to use this cat command, cat space file 1. And now let's see the third advantage of the copy command. By using copy command, we can copy the files from one directory to another directory. Here we have a directory called directory 1. Directory 1 contains three files. So we can copy these three files from this directory to another directory with the help of the copy command. So for that, we have to use an option called minus R where R stands for recursive, where R stands for recursive. So without using R option, it is not possible to copy the files from one directory to another directory. Why? Because the directory may contain some files and uh, some other subdirectories. So we have to copy all them recursively. Okay. So here, this is nothing but source directory. This is nothing but destination directory. Here destination directory may be already existing directory or new directory there is no problem if it is a new directory then this directory will be created and after that the copying will be done suppose if it is already existing directory then what we have in directory two files will be overwritten okay so if we execute this statement then directory one files will be stored in directory two so now directory two contains file one file two file three so directory 1 also contains file 1, file 2, file 3. Directory 2 also contains file 1 and file 2, file 3, file 3. Okay. Now let us see about meta or wild characters. Here we use a character called star. Star specifies star is nothing but 
this character is called as meta character or wild character okay let us see an example for this cp f star directory 2 so here the destination file is nothing but a directory directory so before executing the statement we have to create the directory mkdir space directory 2 so what is the meaning of this statement all the files starting with f are to be copied to the directory 2 okay let us assume that in our current directory we have three files are there file 1 file 2 file 3 uh, file 1 file 2 let the next file is like this gif okay so here in file 1 it is starting with f in file 2 it is starting with f so after this f this star specifies that we can have any number of characters after f we should not bother about that but the corresponding file should begins with f so all the files which are beginning with f are copied to this directory so here we have two files which starts with f so these two files will be copied to the directory too. So this is the advantage here. Let us assume that here we have a meta character like this. Star dot txt. So here if the file extension is dot txt. So before the dot symbol we can have any we can have any file name. The file name may contain one character or two characters or three characters. There is no restriction on that. But if the extension of the file is txt, then we have to copy that file to the directory too. So this is the advantage of the copy command. So totally we have four advantages are there. The first advantage is we can copy the contents of one file to another file. The second advantage is we can copy one or multiple files into a directory. The third advantage is we can copy the files from one directory to another directory recursively. So if you want to execute this statement, uh, then there is no need to create directory. Whereas if you want to execute this statement, then must and should we have to create the directory. Otherwise, what we have when is uh, uh, the shell may treat this as a file also. So that is ambiguity problem. So that's why before executing this command, we have to create the directory. Okay. And the last one is about the meta character that is star. Now here we have uh, two options which are in the copy command. The first option is minus i. The second option is minus r. i stands for interactive copy. Whereas r stands for recursive copy. Already we have seen about recursive copy. So when we use this minus R option, if we want to copy the files from one directory to another directory, we have to use this minus R option. Already that was discussed. Now let us see about minus I option. So let's see what is the use of minus I option. Let us assume that here we have a statement like this. CP minus I file 1 file 3. Let us assume that file 3 is already existing file. If file 3 is already existing file, then uh, it interactively asks the user, uh, does you want to overwrite or not? Why? Because it is already existing file. It is already existing file. So a message will be printed like this. If we execute minus i file 1, some destination file. If this destination file is old file, if this destination file is already existing file, then we can uh, get an interactive message like this. Overwrite. Do you want to overwrite that file or not? If you press y, then overriding will be done. That means contents of the file 1 will be copied to the file 2. If we press other than y, then no copying will be done. Let us assume that if file 2 is new file, let us assume that file 2 is new file, then this message won't get printed. This message won't get printed. Why? Because file 2 is the new file. If it is a new file, then there is no need of any overriding. So simply file 1 content will be copied to the file 2. So when we have to use this minus i option, if the destination file is already existing file, then if we, uh, then there is a possibility that we have to overwrite the file. So in that occasion, the shell asks us for, uh, do you want to overwrite or not? If you press Y, then overwriting will be done. If you press other than Y, then overwriting won't be done. The file will be as this only. So this is about copy command. In the next video, we'll see about move command.